Right now then, how are you doing? Welcome back to the Yorkshire Bike Mechanics YouTube channel. My name's Dave K. I hope you're having a good week and everything's all right where you are. Oh, and I have missed you. Yes, I have. I've missed you. It's been a few weeks since I've made a video. I've had a few things to sort out at home, but all that's done now. So we're back in the workshop. Unfortunately, it's cool today. Well, I'm saying it's cold. It's minus today and it's snowing outside at the minute. So, uh, but I'm sure we've got some lovely summer weather to come, let's hope. So in my quest to find uh, a bike tracking device uh, that will help us find us bikes in case they're stolen, I think I've found a brilliant solution. So this is called the Bike Finder and it's different from anything that I've actually seen before. It's designed to go inside your handlebar. It doesn't have to be an e-bike because it's powered by itself. Uh, and it fits inside the handlebar and it's really, really concealed. It's GPS, it's GSM, Bluetooth, uh, and it's GLONASS as well. So it's really, really well equipped. So this thing retails at about 170 quid, which I think represents good value for money particularly if you're gonna get your bike back after it's been stolen. Now, the other great thing about this product is it comes with bike insurance. So, if you can't find your bike using this device, and if the people that developed this and sold you it can't find your bike either, then it's covered on insurance to the full value of the bike. Now, I think that's a brilliant package, and it's one that have been waiting for for ages. So, but how good is it and does it work? Well, on the box, it's supposed to be brilliant and people are raving about it. So what we'll do is let's fit it. Let's get someone to whip the bike or take it away somewhere and we'll try and find it. But first, let's have a look in the box and see what's in it. So it's in a nice little box, really well made, a little magnet on the flap to open it up. As you can see, there's some instructions inside and installations information as well. So it's fairly straightforward, well documented, loads of diagrams and there's a video online if you want to follow it as well, but it is really, really simple to install. We've got the unit there. We'll just wait for this ambulance to go past. Come on, that's it. Uh, we've got the unit there, which is obviously thin uh, and long because it needs to be to go inside your handlebar. Uh, there's the important part on the end, and we've got the locking mechanism there as well. We've got its own little tool. It comes with a tool so you can actually fit it so you don't need to buy anything. Some adapters in there, just in case you need to fit it into a, a, a diameter handlebar that's wider than uh, the actual unit itself. And a charging USB-C uh, cable as well which which feels really nice nice and well made so i think we should get this fit in the bike and we'll show you how it goes in so the unit itself can be fitted in either side of the handlebar doesn't make any difference at all but for ease we're going to put it in the left hand side just simply because it's nearer the camera so the first thing that we need to do is we need to take the existing handlebar grip off so let's do that okay and that just should allow us to slide that grip off there. And we'll put that to one side. Like I said before, some bars are a little bit wider inside than others. Now, as we can see here, it's quite sloppy inside. And so what we need to do is we need to fit the adapters to actually make it fit better. So all we need to do basically is take these two little screws out here that you can actually see we'll put the adapters there just undo them screws and that'll allow us to actually lift this up and take them out okay so there's we do careful not to lose them there's two quite long ones you can see she's there and then these little adapters go underneath the main part of the unit so you can it's obvious where they go uh, once you actually see so that one goes there 
okay you can actually see how it fits in it just makes the body of the unit wider so it fits in your handlebar better and the other one goes in there so you can actually see and then we put these screws back in okay so that's that in place as you can see and then the sleeve on the outside needs to go up to the top like that okay and then what we basically do is we slide the unit inside the bar there's two markings on the end they're arrows and they're pointing up so it's important that they actually point upwards okay slide it in there like that make sure those arrows are pointing upwards and then we just tighten those two screws up don't over tighten them just so you can't actually pull the unit out of the bar you see it's fairly secure but you don't want to over tighten them don't forget your bar end is going to go on there okay and then we put that clip or that stop that waterproof stop back on the end there okay and you can see how how nice and neat it fits in there now the other thing that we want to do is we want to make sure this is completely concealed so by using these ODI grips on this particular bike that doesn't have a lock on on that side we can just slide these all the way over to the top okay over the over the unit and then it's completely hidden all together it's actually behind there and we can't see it but because this is rubber and plastic the unit will work really 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 well behind that now the other thing that you might want to do is if you've noticed now this has actually made this side of the handlebar about 10 millimeters longer than the other side so it may be before you actually fit this unit that you might want to reduce the size of your handlebar by the by the depth of this particular unit and then that means that your handlebar is the same distance from center to the outside on both sides if that makes sense and I'm sure it does okay so we can see that that unit is really nicely installed in there we'll put the we'll put the grip back on and we'll just tighten that up now we've actually charged the unit up for a good 10 minutes so it actually is uh, it's uh, working at the moment uh, and the next thing that we need to do is we need to download the app on his phone jump onto bikefinder.com and we need to register for an account during the registration process we'll be asked what we want to actually purchase now like I said before this unit comes with insurance uh, for the full, full value of your bike depending on what the value of your bike is you can choose there uh, the other option is to simply purchase a subscription for simple tracking not the insurance so you've got the option for both or either or, or either um, the insurance comes with the tracking facility as well so that's included so you can see here for the purpose of the video we're just going to actually buy a monthly subscription but as you can see the more uh, months that you buy the cheaper actually it gets uh, 2 99 a month for uh, for two years is pretty cheap if you ask me so um, but again we just choose the 4 99 a month and that will enable us to uh, to hopefully find uh, the tracker and the bike uh, on the second part of the video so hypothetically speaking i've just been in our garage and i've just noticed that ryan's bike has gone so we're assuming that someone has stole it uh, and it's gone okay so my job now is to see if we can find it using this new bike finder system so let's jump in the van let's see if we can find it so we've jumped in the van uh it's been gone about five or ten minutes as ryan i have no idea where he's gone he could have gone anywhere at all so we're going to rely on the bike finding system to try and find 
this bike. So let's have a look at some footage now of what, what it's actually telling us. One of the first things that uh, Bike Finder asks us to do when we when we realise that his bike's been stolen is to change the tracking mode. Uh, there is an option to go into full tracking mode, which enables the system to send information uh, much quicker to your phone, uh, obviously to let you know where your bike is uh, more regular. Uh, so it's more of a tracking feature. It does reduce the battery uh, life of the tracking but ordinarily speaking, you wouldn't have it in this type of mode unless you were trying to find your bike in case it was stolen. So we can actually see where the bike is or where it actually started off. This is where I'm actually sat in the van at the moment. And I'm actually just waiting for an update as to where it's actually going. Um, once we've got that, then what I'll do is I'll start the van and I'll follow actually where it's actually gone to and then I'll stop and we'll reassess. So we can see we've got a new destination now so that's where I'm going to head. So I've travelled um, I've travelled about another three or four mile uh, and as you can see from the uh, tracking info we're not that far off actually where the bike is at the moment. So I'm more, I'm, I'm, I know I'm on the right road and we can see this is actually, I think this is King Street. The church and the herd and partners, which is the vets. Uh, now it's in amongst these streets and I think it's round the other side of that church. So let's follow this road. We'll carry on going all the way around the other side and then we'll have another check at the map. Now I've got to say that I love this sort of stuff. As you can tell, I'm really enthusiastic about finding this particular bike. And I love technology and I love, I love how it works. But this thing seems to be brilliant. Uh, it's working just as we want it to be. So again, I'm following uh, the map. I'm going down these side streets, as you can see, just making my way to where I think that particular bike is. It's obviously in a car park somewhere. So let's get a little bit further and then we'll uh, jump out of the van and see if we can uh, find it on foot. Uh, and once we get a little bit closer, I think Bluetooth will kick in and we should be able to find it a little bit more easier. But it's here somewhere. We're very, very, very close. Uh, so let's jump out of the van and we'll see if we can find it. Guess what? We found it. Take a look at the... There's the bad boy. Done. Mission accomplished. So does this thing work? Well, yes, it does. And it works really, really well. In fact, I'm happy to say that it's probably worked better than any other device that we've tested before. Admittedly, it's 170 quid. But for 170 quid to be able to find your bike, I think that's good value. You need to keep it charged up. Uh, I'd probably suggest maybe charging it once a week in standard mode. Don't forget to keep it in standard mode. If you leave it accidentally in tracking mode, it will drain the battery really quick. But only use the tracking mode in case you need to. So, on the whole, a brilliant product, well worth the money, and a benefit is the insurance that comes with it. So on that note, I'm going to leave you. If you want to check one of these things out, have a look on bikefinder.com. Really, really nice product. Total pip.